Hey y'all, come on in. <laughs> hey y'all, finally got our space done, come on in. Hey everyone, welcome back into our page, the Fantastic Five channel, not page. Hey everybody, welcome back into our channel, not page, the Fantastic Five. <laughs> Rate, like, subscribe. No, comment. Comment, <laughs> comment, rate, like, subscribe. You don't rate. They can't rate you. They can rate us five stars. <laughs> no, they can't. Well, they should. It's not a thing. Okay. Okay, whatever. They can. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. We have been working hard, 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 trying to get all these renovations done so that we can start this adventure. To recap, we renoed this entire room, this entire space, the dining area, the couch, the cabinets, and we had to reno that reno. We had to do everything. Say hi, Quinn. You see hi? Hi, You're hi. So pretty. We had to reno everything. Um, as we showed in the last video, it just didn't work. There was a lot of different reasons as to why it didn't work. But finally, the day, the time is here. We are done with the renovations in this room here. So originally in this space, um, we had this little corner shelf and it kind of, honestly, it was like half of this cabinet right here of storage and it did go from ceiling to floor, but we honestly were like, what in the world do you even store in here? I think originally they had just like the vacuum in there. And so we decided to put this in. Um, only because we really need shoe storage, we have five people. And so we chose to go ahead and put these lockers in. I wanted something that was rugged. Um, ignore how dirty it is. You know, this is my son's locker, but um, we wanted something rugged that could, you know, get some wear and tear and still look good, um, but that wasn't like, you know, really dainty. And um, so we chose to go with this. We actually got these. Um, for a really good price at a local store and we just love them and originally they were supposed to stand separate um, just on the floor but Tony built the frame out so that they could be on top of each other um, so that we could have the storage to the ceiling because obviously we don't have enough space to go wide so we needed to go up um, and so we just we really love these and then I wanted storage on the other side just for plants and books and my magazines and um, just to kind of like add some um, interest to this space and we needed to fill it anyway so we decided to put this bookshelf Tony custom built that as well and I just love the way that it turned out so this is by far my favorite um, space in the house I love a good fire and we knew we wanted to keep the fireplace just to have a backup heating source because we do have the propane but um, you know, we just really needed that this winter, so we thought we needed to keep that. And so we decided to trade it out for some bead board, and um, I just love the all black. I feel like it makes it look a little moody, um, but also a little bit cozy. Um, we did a really nice rug, mostly for the reason of keeping warm in this space because um, the floors do get really cold, especially in the winter time. And then um, our couch, we wanted a cozy big couch that we could all five fit on. And so we decided to go with this. It's um, a velvet couch, so it's a little bit warmer. Um, and we just love this space. The science is it all. This whole thing is about adventure um, and discovery. And so, yeah, we just really love this space. But it feels so cozy and warm in here. Can you say hi? Say I'm in a cranky mood. So this particular space here, originally we had a piano stand that kind of folded up into a table. And while we love the concept of it, the actual um, pulling out a table every single time and the weight of it and really the whole functionality of it just did not work for us we didn't all fit at the table either which was such a bummer we probably three people comfortably could fit at most and so we knew we had to change that out and do something a little bit more versatile and practical um, and so we decided to go with this round table mostly because you can fit more people around a round table 
And also, um, just the bench for the kids was so much better than having to fit five chairs. And so we decided to do a bench, um, which I absolutely love. And there is storage underneath of it, although it does not access inside. The storage is mostly going to be used for like water and things like that, um, emergency supplies. And so that's um, accessible through the exterior, but still practical space. We can still fit, we can actually fit more people than, uh, we could probably fit six, three kids and three adults. We don't need that much, but um, it's just been so much nicer having a space where we can all fit comfortably and we can eat dinner together because for us that's just so important. Dinner together as a family is um, just one of our favorite things. We look forward to it every day, so that was important. So this space was my um, the project that took me so much time. It was a labor of love. But we had to refinish these cabinets. We sanded, we painted them, and then we also built new doors and put new pools on them. And I love the way it turned out. I love the way that it brightens up this space so much and really draws you in. Um, and so, yeah, we're really excited about this particular space. Well, I hope you all loved it as much as we do. We absolutely love this space. It works so well for our family. All of the little features that we we learned along the way to add and um, to change and um, ignore our camper shaking. That is our washer. washer. Uh, always freaks people out. Um, but yeah, we just, we learned so much along the way on how to do things and how to work together as a team on things we don't agree on and how to um, make something suit both of us um, with our personalities and how we, um, you know, the things that we think are good or the things that we think are okay. Um, you know, I have a little bit higher standards, so poor Tony has to work with that. <laughs> but um, it's just been really cool. It's taught us so much about each other, and we just love the way that it looks. And we're super excited to, um, you know, work on the next space, get it all done so we can get on the road and adventure and discover so many cool things in life together as a family. So this was the big project. This was the big space that took, we knew it was going to take a lot of time. Didn't necessarily think it was going to take six months, but we are where we are. So we still have some renovations to do, the back bathroom, the kids' room, our room, but Everything that I've learned and we've learned over these last few months, uh, I think we're going to be able to apply that to these other rooms that we're going to finish. Um, we definitely went all out for this space. Like you said, Bebe, we, we wanted this to be welcoming. You know, we wanted to be able to just, you know, sit in this space and just love it. For the other spaces, we're going to take some of that and kind of dial it back a little bit, I think, as far as... Uh, you know storage as far as just all kinds of ideas for that because we do have a little bit of a timeline that we want to you know try to stick to as much as we can uh, but we also don't want to skimp on you know this is our home this is this is where we live so really looking forward to getting the rest of that stuff done the next up update we will have uh, it will be posted it won't take as long because <laughs> it took you forever <laughs> it was a lot it was a lot to do 
Anyway, we'll have an update on how we're going to be hauling this thing, maybe even a review on that. Uh, so really looking forward to posting that, sharing that with everybody. Um, so yeah, tune in next time. Hope you like this video. Give us a comment. Don't rate, but also rate it in the comment. And just say it's five stars. That's a loophole. 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 We'll see you next time. Boop. Got her, Fred. Mm -mm. Got her. No, I got her. Mm -mm. Yeah, huh? Mm -mm. I did get her. Girls always win. Mm -mm. No, Fred. Right? You're supposed to be on my side. Yeah, me. Okay. Say no. No, 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 no.